What's up? Well, I got a lot to cover real quick and I was smart enough this time to write everything down. So I'm gonna go over this real quick with you and try and make this video as short as possible because I know most people don't like me yammering and yammering and yammering and yammering and yammering and yammering. Never mind. Anyway, uh, let's see. Um, the Ask RH section right now. I've got five that I need to address. Jeff Barry was the first one. Um, last week, I forgot to uh, answer his question, but he wanted to know how many routers do I have? What's the appropriate horsepower? Uh, and it's specific to the one that's in my router table. Uh, I have a total of four routers, I believe. One was given to me a long time ago by my wife, who was my fiance at the time. And uh, then I acquired two more from a bargain network show and then another one from Lance uh, Robleski, uh who lives in Edmond. And I hope he gives me kudos because I said his name right this time. <laughs> anyway, um, the one that I have in my router table is a um, Craftsman variable speed with a quarter and half inch collet. And uh, if I recommend that if you're gonna do one in a table, make sure it is variable speed. Try and get one that has adjustable collets. Um, the recommended horsepower is probably about a three horse, but I have a, a horse and a half, I believe, and it works just fine, even with doing raised panel doors. Uh, Paul Wagstaff uh, sent me a question, uh, asked me about a pallet. Uh, what's the appropriate method for taking them apart? Um, for that, there's two ways. One, you can run your circular saw up the sides where the nails are and just kind of get rid of those and then just pull the uh, center sections off and then push the nails out. Or you can go to Izzy Swan's website and just order a pallet pal or, or whatever he's named it now, I'm not quite sure, but uh, it's a device that he has uh, made it that pulls pallets apart really easy. Uh, Paul St. George sent me a um, Question asked me about bandsaw drift, and um, bandsaw drift is a, just a phenomenon that nobody can really explain. It happens with every blade, and every blade has a different angle drift. But once you set for the drift, it's going to stay the same no matter what, unless just something really goes bad with your, your bandsaw. But um, the way that I do it is using a bevel gauge and a long piece of wood with a straight line running through it, and I run that uh, piece of wood through the bandsaw and I take my bevel gauge and I stop periodically and check the angle, set the angle rather first, then I run it through some more, check it again, see if it's changed, if it hasn't, and I keep going. And then once I have that set, once I make it through the entire way of the, the board, then I will take that bevel gauge and put it up against my bandsaw fence. Um, but every fence, I should say most fences, should have adjustment screws that allow you to adjust for the blade drift. Uh, so check a, a video. I think Mark Spagnolo on the Wood Whisperer does a, a really good, uh, really good thing about the bandsaw drift and Woodworks. Uh, if you have any access to his archive videos, does a really good demonstration as well, which is where I got mine. Um, Elaine Valian, Val, Valian Court. I probably said that wrong, but uh, he's the woodpecker. And if you uh, have seen his show on YouTube, you know that he is in the process of making a brand new shop for himself. And he sent me a question about my epoxy flooring. And if you had seen my prior episodes way back in the day, I put an epoxy flooring down and did a, a demonstration as to how it went on. And I bought mine from armorepoxy.com. And the reason I did not go to like Home Depot or Lowe's to get the uh, epoxy is simply because uh, there's too much water in those products and it evaporates and leaves a very thin layer and eventually will start peeling off the floor. I know because my parents had the same problem happen to them. Uh, this product is very thick when it dries. It looks beautiful. I haven't had a problem with it since I put it on. Uh, so go to armepoxy.com if you're wanting a top of the line uh, epoxy coat flooring. Uh, last one, Dwight Sonder or Sounder not, or Souter. That's probably Souter. <laughs> Sorry, Dwight. Um, he asked me what angle the dovetail bit that I use for my dovetail uh, and spline jig. And really it doesn't matter what you use, but the one that I have is a seven degree uh, angle dovetail bit. Uh, but you can use anything that you want and just keep in mind that if the bit that you're using is not a long shafted bit that you will have to manipulate the uh, jig a little bit to keep your bit from vibrating and, and possibly breaking if you have it too far above your router. Um, let's see, project submissions. I got one here. Actually, I've got several from Facebook. Uh, 
Uh, Chad Showalter sent me a deck that he made that he incorporated a uh, spiral slide for his kids. I thought that was the coolest thing. That's like a dream deck for a child. Uh, I would love to have that for, for me whenever I was a kid. Uh, let's see, Gary and Judy Boyd uh, had a couple of sandboxes that were made out of 2x4 cedar that they got for free. Uh, and they also did a pallet planter, uh, which was pretty cool. I mean, everything that they made there was, was free. They didn't have to buy a thing. Maybe just the screws to put it together and a little bit of glue. So that was awesome, Gary. Uh, let's see, Brandon Sparkman, uh, let's see, a three-leg end table. He sent me a while back. This is the first time I've had a chance to feature it. And uh, I thought that was beautiful. Black with that stained top was just gorgeous. And that was the kind of style of furniture that I used to build whenever I first started woodworking. It was kind of primitive looking. Uh, so I really like that color combination. So awesome job there. <clears throat> um, let's see, uh, I had a couple of people contact me. One from Australia, Tony, Tony Marin. Uh, just asked for table saw cabinet plans. <clears throat> and uh, Chris Carlo asked me the same thing. If I had plans for my table saw, and yes I do. The plans that I submit, though, do not have measurements on them. Uh, so you just kind of have to fill in the blanks. The reason I didn't put measurements is because everybody's preferences for table height, width, um, even their table saw itself is going to have different variations than mine. So I didn't want to make it exact and have you people build it that way and then it's not going to fit or it's too high for you. So the ones that I send, it's just meant for inspiration. Fill in the blanks as necessary for your own needs. But anybody that wants plans, <clears throat> just send me an email with the uh, subject line table saw plans and I will send them out to you. A couple of my favorite videos that I saw this week. Um, the Ryobi group has uh, Shani the Sheik doing their videos and there are a couple of ladies that actually have their own YouTube channel called Shanty to Sheik and they are sponsored by Ryobi and they did a sports caddy which held, held a bunch of uh, like soccer balls, basketballs, um, sports equipment, had a pegboard on one side. I thought it was a really cool design and uh, it didn't look like it took up a lot of space for the amount of stuff that it stored. And you can modify it for uh, things like uh, tools for your garden. Uh, so that's something to think about too. That was an awesome project. Uh, Tom Fidgen uh, had a gentleman's valet and he did it all by hand tools and the end result was just gorgeous. Uh, there was one in particular that he worked on the drawer itself with the dovetails and the uh, inlay and uh, borders. It was just a gorgeous and, and very relaxing video to watch. Uh, if you've ever watched any of his videos, I recommend going to his channel and I'll leave a link down in the description, but it'll just, it's just so relaxing to watch him work and he does it all with hand tools. It's very impressive. If you guys have a question, like I said before, send me an email with the uh, Subject line, hashtag AskRH, and I will answer anything that you got for me. Anyway, guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode, and uh, I'll have some more videos coming out real soon. So thank you very much, guys. Take care.